time because I kept changing the figures by the river. Some of, some of the boys turned into girls and vice versa. And uh, it's a rare picture of mine because there's only one penis in it. <laughs> And what caused you to keep working on it, keep changing it? Well, I was trying to, as they say, get it right so I could bear it. And this is the last finger I put in. Uh, I think for reasons of scale. And uh, also, everybody's facing this way. I decided it might be nice to have somebody looking out the, over the ocean. Bathers have been a favorite subject of yours. Yes. Horses, bathers, and people. I'm not a horseback rider or anything like that, but I like to paint them. I've painted them quite a few times. All these people in the water, and only this man was facing straight at me. and. Uh, bigger and I worked on that. I did one huge one which I think Diane Johnson has and uh, I did this I think a little bit later. Yes, I think that's one of the better nudes I've done. I worked on that a long time and I like the, uh, the shape of the man and the shading. Uh, there was a girl down the street who uh, whose apartment this was, and about five of us got together once a week and drew from a bottle for three hours. And uh, I thought that was a particularly nice pose and bottle. And I probably worked on that after I got it home. Drawings and paintings, have you preferred one or the other? No. I. one I'm involved with is uh, the one I like, uh, that medium the best at the moment I'm doing it. Uh, Gordon Cook and uh, Wayne Tebow for a long time, that was, those are hilarious sessions. Oh, in what way? Well, uh, coffee breaks were long and very interesting. One. Uh, one day, Bess said to Mark, what do you think of the idea of posting, if we feel like at a drawing once a month on the bulletin board, and people could say anything or nothing as they wished? And Mark said, oh, that's a great idea. And then she said, what do you think, Wayne? He gave us a long dissertation that nobody understood. And then she said, what do you think, Gordon? He said, I think it's a great idea and I think we'd never meet again. <laughs> Jim Christensen was a student of Paul Woner's when he was teaching, uh, I think, in Los Angeles. And he and his wife became good friends. He looks familiar, but I've forgotten his name. And how, how do you choose your models? Uh, someone who will pose for me. <laughs> I did that at McDowell Colony, an artist colony in southern New Hampshire. And there was nothing in this huge studio except me. <laughs> and I didn't know what to draw. It was winter. Out the window there were a few naked trees, but not very interesting. And on the floor was a piece of huge studio, a piece of glass shaped like this with a little roof. And out of desperation, I just stripped naked and put it down on the floor and drew exactly what I saw from the floor up. My nose was my dick and things like that. And uh, then they brought me in a big mirror that could be adjusted. 
kind that ladies have in their bedrooms. And I did many, many, many drawings. Uh, I don't have anything to say about it. I'm glad I don't know him. <laughs> um, but I think of the industrial paintings as one of the best of mine. I think in 88, I just decided that uh, industrial sites were far more interesting to paint than uh, what other people were painting, like houses and barns. And so I drove around the whole Bay Area looking for sites that interested me. And I found this one somewhere, I don't know. And I would make a sketch, as you, you have two of them, uh, and then go back to the studio and paint them and change them once in a while. I'd go back and see if I could find the place and check up on a few matters. And how do you how do you tell people what your work is about when they ask you? I usually don't answer that question. <laughs>